Hey guys, Chad Hoover, Kayak Bass and TV, and I'm coming at you with a new lure feature and a giveaway, so stay tuned. All right guys, today we're gonna talk about the, uh, the D-Hop available from uh, Doomsday Tackle. Uh, this has quickly become one of my favorite frog style baits to fish. What I really like about this bait is how durable it is. And if you look at this bait a little closer, you can see that it's starting to tear up here, okay? It's starting to tear up in the back. But here's what's great about the fact that it's, even though it started to tear up, is it's still kicking, okay? I've probably caught 60, 70, 80, 100 fish on this bait. It's one of the first D hops that I started throwing. It's a phenomenal bait. Uh, it's easy to rig, but there's two basic things that I like to do to make this bait a little bit more effective. So let me show you the quick way to rig this bait and a couple of ways that I like to do it. First, the thing I like to do is I'll just go ahead and pull it off to show you how to rig it and then, uh, and then we'll just redo it, okay? I like a six alt Mustad big mouth tube hook. It's my favorite way to rig it. It fits the, the lure the best uh, and it keeps from tearing it up. There's a lot of different ways to rig it. This is my favorite. Uh, a six alt fits it the best but there's a little trick to getting the hook in there right. So what you wanna do is you wanna come through the hole in the nose and come out the belly, okay? And then what most people like to do is to turn the bait around like this and then sit here and try to get the hook into the hole with that where it's supposed to be. What I like to do instead is to go ahead and pull that through and then take your bait and put your hook in the center, line that hole up to where you get the hook through the hole, the guide hole that's basically already put there in it, Pop that out into the back, just like that, okay? Once that's out through the back like that, and it's gonna lay in that groove and be nice and weedless, you're gonna simply take this line, pull your line, and just pull the hook, I mean, pull the nose up over the eye of the hook and pop it in, whoops, pop it in just like that, okay? Makes it nice and clean. It's gonna make it the, as durable as possible. And then what's gonna happen is if a bass ever grabs that, and instead of tearing the frog up, it'll actually come down the hook shank and it'll pop off. And if it does that and the bass shakes it, you'll still get your frog because it floats. I personally like to trim these front legs and I like to leave these back legs longer. And I like to give it a snap and give presentation that kind of makes it the nose hop. I like to hold my rod at between 11 and 12 o'clock and it makes that bait both hop and walk back and forth. So um, that D hop right there is phenomenal. That is my preferred way of rigging it. But let me, show you, let me tell you something. As the water temperature starts to cool off or as it starts to warm up in the spring uh, and transitioning into the fall, I like to actually like to rig it a different way. So let me show you how I like to rig it when I get a little bit later in the season or early in the spring. So I'm just gonna pop this hook out of there and show you what I like to do. What I like to do is I like to take this must had weighted grip hook this is an eighth ounce. You can go up to a quarter, but the thing about a quarter is you have to be constantly moving the bait or it's gonna sink because it kind of overpowers it. So an eighth ounce is perfect. This grip pin is pretty cool because what it does is it gets locked in under the chin. I'm gonna show you how that works. So same concept, basically take your hook and put it through the hole first. You can even come off to the side like I'm doing here, rotate it around and put it in the belly. Whoops, hold on a second. Let me get those legs out of the way so you can see it. Put it in that groove. After you rotate that around, now obviously your line's gonna be tied all the way through this. Simply take that bait and pop that eye out the front. What's cool about that grip pin is it actually catches that nose and it runs into lily pads, grass, wood, and things like that ahead of time and it just hops it right over the top. What that, key to, that weighted keel hook does is it gives it a little bit of uh, low, uh, a little bit of uh, bite. It kind of pushes it lower into the water. It gives it a little bit of wobble back and forth when you snatch it because that keel weight is going to go left to right. So it really creates a, a ripple around that bait and it allows you to hop it more because it's going to sit kind of like that in the water. And when you hop it along, this thing is freaking deadly. The black version of this, when the red wing blackbirds are having babies on reed and you know, reed based shoreline lakes is phenomenal because it looks like one of those baby birds. Take the front legs out and it looks like a standard frog. Take the back legs out and put two um, uh, spinner blades on there and twist them together with a piece of braid in between them and you can put a spinner on the back of it. What's cool about this bait is it's super versatile. You can play around with it and you can experiment. The body is unbelievably durable. Let me pop this thing off here. Like I said, I've been holding onto this bait. It is 
just crazy how durable this thing is. It's buoyant, it doesn't absorb water, it does absorb scent. So when you put a little bit of scent on it and stretch it and kind of open those pores up, when the fish grab a hold to it, they hold on to it. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna give away three of these. So do me a favor, comment in the comments below and tell me why you want a D-Hop Frog and then use the hashtag, I want a D-Hop and we'll give away three of these to uh, the folks that comment. If we can get this video over a thousand likes, I'll give away three more. So we're gonna give away three guaranteed no matter what. Comment below, if we get the video over a thousand likes, I'll give away three more. So if you're a frog fishing fanatic, if you like surface strikes, if you like topwater fishing, you owe it to yourself to try one of these things. I think it'll become one of your favorite new lures in your topwater frog fishing arsenal. The D-Hop from Doomsday.